Lily offers up a well-rounded blend of great generics and up-close pressure tools, locking down opponents while simultaneously having the best sidestep in the whole roster. Lily both excels in the mid and short range, with strong keep-out and scary mix-up potential up close. When up close, use her fast pokes like 1-1, one, one, downforward 1 and downforward 4 to check opponents. Forward 1 plus 2 is a safe mid that also gives a guaranteed 1 plus 2 on counter hit. Downforward 3 can then be used up close to give you more plus frames on block and set up Lily's lows and stance pressure. Lily's main lows are down 3, forward forward 4 and down 1 2. After forward forward 4 and down 1 2, you can hold back to enter into her back turn stance and utilise her back turn mix. When you're in their face, back 1 into hold forward can also be used to pressure with Lily's do glide stance. At distance, Lily also has access to a very strong keep out tool in forward 4, a safe counter hit launcher with huge range. When at the wall, lock the opponent down with down forward 3 and mix in some of her lows and back turn mix. You can also fish for wall splats with quarter circle forward free. Off of certain key moves and punishers, Lily can enter her back turn stance. The main moves you'll want to use are 1 4, a high heat engager, 2, a power crush, 3 4, a homing mid with a kick follow up that gives a guaranteed grounded quarter circle forward free on hit, 1 plus 2, a launcher, and down 2, a low. With a quarter circle forward motion, Lily enters her do glide stance. The main options you want to use from it are 1 4, a safe mid mid which offers big chip damage and heat. 2 1, a homing heat engager. 3, Lily's best option for hitting grounded opponents and also a safe wall splat. And 1 plus 2, a power crush. Feisty rabbit stance, entered with either back 3 or back 4, can be used in conjunction with her sidestep to evade and punish opponents' moves or set up unique pressure situations. The main options, however, are 4, a safe mid which offers big chip damage and heat. 2, a safe heat engager. And 3, a low. For I-10 punishment, Lily gets 1-1 one, one into back turned, and also 2-4 for knockdown. For I-12, she gets forward 2-3. For I-13, she gets down forward 4-4. Four, four. For I-15, she gets up forward 3 launch. And for I-16, she gets down forward 2 launch. For while standing punishment, for I-11, she gets while standing 4. For I-13, she gets while standing 1-2. And for I-16, she gets while standing 2 launch. Off of most launchers, you can do this basic bread and butter combo to start with. Launch into down forward 2 forward 2 3, down forward 3 plus 4, into back turn 1 2 for tornado, and then the ender of your choosing. Her main combo enders are forward forward 3 into hold forward, do glide 1 4 for damage, forward 2 3 for wall carry, and back 2 1 for up close. For wall combo, you can do while standing 1 2 into hold forward, do glide 3. If you haven't used tornado in your combo yet, you can use core circle forward 3 and then your regular combo for more damage. When in heat, Lily's forward forward 3 plus 4 and alternate versions such as Duglide 1 4 and Feisty Rabbit 4 are buffed to offer big chip damage and plus frames on block. Her best heat engagers are 3 1, a long range whiff punisher which gives a full combo with heat dash, 3 plus 4, a safe homing high with huge range which also gives a full combo, back turn 1 4, a quick high string out of her back turn stance, and Duglide 2 1, a mid homing string out of her Duglide stance. Lily's heat smash is a long range whiff punisher which on block puts her into a back turn mix. Lily also has a low heat smash out of her back turn stance, adding to her already strong back turn mix. With a best in class sidestep paired with excellent genetic and pressure tools, in Tekken 8, Lily is certainly a force to be reckoned with.